Welcome to the Great Pacific Northwest and the BackyardIdeasCenter.com. You know, I have people ask me all the time, how do you put up with all the rain out there in the Seattle area? Well, all I can say is, take a look. When the skies are blue and the sun is out, there's actually no place like it in the country. Well, let's get started. Hello and welcome back again. Today we're going to talk a little bit about water features. A water feature is a great way to get uh, the sound of water into your backyard or into your front yard. It's, it's for those of us who don't want to put in full-blown ponds, uh, but still want that sound of uh, running water. It's amazing how it will relax the tensions of the day after uh, a long day of work. You can put them in your backyard and have it all to yourself, or in the case of this water feature you're looking at, put it in the front yard. It uh, says to your uh, guests, and probably your neighbors too, because they'll be able to hear it, welcome, and it's a comfortable place to be. The hardest part about building these is uh, digging the hole, as you would probably figure. The hole is where the sump goes and the uh, water collects. Line it with your normal uh, fish pond liner, just a sm much smaller piece. Uh, the second part that would probably be the most difficult would be gathering the rocks. And if you live in an area that has lots of rocks like I do, it's no problem. You just head out and pick them up. If you live in some place like New Jersey with lots of sand, you can always uh, head over to your landscaper and buy all the river rock you need there. So we're going to get a little bit deeper into this and uh, take a look at some of this stuff with some still photos I took show you the sump and uh, how this thing's put together well let's get started with that okay what you're looking at here is the top of the sump which contains the, uh, the pump the, uh, the sump itself is nothing more than uh, a sprinkler housing that you can buy down at Home Depot I think the thing cost me 14 bucks. It's about oh, 18 inches by 12 inches wide by another one foot deep. And, uh, that will pretty much tell you how deep your sump has to be by the depth of your uh, your your box that you buy. You want it to be a little bit below the top surface of your uh, of your uh, of the water. Okay, what you're looking at here is inside the sump. And you can see the pump is down inside there with the, uh, the supply hose to the fountain attached to it. And this, uh, this pump that you see in here is like 480 gallons per hour. Uh, you want it to be fairly strong so that you get a good water flow, but not so strong that uh, that you overpower the whole situation. Uh, you want a fountain, you don't want a geyser. The, that is pretty much the way that is set up. What you're looking at here is the base of the pot which makes up the uh, the fountain part of this uh, water feature. At the bottom there you can see the, uh, the it's another sprinkler uh, valve container that you can pick up at Home Depot at the same time. Same depth as the other one, maybe just a little bit higher. Uh, it's upside down, you don't need a lid for this one. And in the bottom of the sump, it sits on top of a 12 inch uh, square piece of tile so that it doesn't punch a hole in the liner once you set this heavy pot on top of it. The the pot itself, is, it's just a big recirculating system. Uh, the pump pumps through the line which goes into the bottom of the sprinkler uh, container, the valve container, up through the bottom of the pot and you can buy most of these pots already have a hole in the bottom for uh, for uh, drainage of any plant you would put in. You just run the line through the center there and attach it to your sprinkler head via a rigid piece of pipe and it just recirculates, it pumps into the pot, the pot fills up, the pot overflows into the sump and the pump picks it up and starts the whole process over again. Works fairly well. I just gotta remember to keep it full. Otherwise, you wind up with an empty sump and a pump run dry and it burns up. And that's how that works. 
All in all, though, this is a great little project you can do. This you can get this done in a weekend, no problem. It's uh, also a great little family project. You'd be surprised how kids love to carry rocks around and stack rocks. Just got to keep them from throwing them at each other. The water fountain itself, uh, as you can see, you can surround it with plants. Um, just about anything that you want to do. It's, uh, whatever your imagination wants. It's also a, a great feature for resale of your house. You can put your house up for sale. I mean, we all know what the market's like these days. Every little thing you can do to, to help uh, sell that home and make it more inviting is a plus. These water features uh, instantly relax people when they walk up to the front of the house and they hear it running, or they step out onto your deck or patio and they hear the water running. It's nothing but a plus, and a low cost plus at that. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some ideas from it. Uh, look for us in our next one. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Have a great day, and take care.